I was actually looking forward to. But then I had to come to the stadium to do some, some shooting. Little did I know I was a surprise. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, there's one thing you told me, right, that you always really wanted to do, right? Yep. What was that? Tell, tell me, tell the camera, what was um, it that you always wanted to do? Go and shoot a three point in an NBA court. OK, well, Wayne, I'm sorry, but we're going to give you that chance right now. <laughs> so you know what? Get on the court and do your thing. Show us how it's done. After shooting three or four shots, I already got tired. So it's two. One more chance. Let's see what happens. I managed to make some three-point shots at the Phoenix NBA court. You, I, I still can't believe you're just shooting hips like that right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. The NBA line is further than the normal line, and I'm already tired. <laughs> but it's awesome, man. Awesome feel. I bet when all your players, all your fellow coaches in Malaysia are going to see this, they are going to be just so jealous right now. Oh, yeah. So after that, as, as I was walking back into to the back, to the backstage, and uh, lo and behold, Devin Buku was sitting down waiting for me. So uh, we have one more surprise for you. <laughs> one more surprise. <laughs> Look who we have! <laughs> Look who we have! How are you? Oh, good. How are you? Yeah, we had a good chat. Um, I was asking about his his back in the uh, University of Kentucky days uh, because they went all the way to the semifinals at zero losses. So was just asking how he was in the experience. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, when he was drafted, you know, what was it? Exp what is his feeling like? Oh, I mean, that was a dream come true for me. You know, the NBA is something I worked hard for uh, most of my whole life, and. You know, a lot of sacrifices went into it. So, you know, to hear your name called on draft night, you know, it's a feeling that's hard to describe unless you've been in that situation. You know, something that you work so hard for and you finally see it pay off. But once you get to the NBA, you know, you realize there's a whole journey ahead of you of staying in the NBA, reaching goals that, that you have. So, you know, I'm in the process of, you know, trying to get better, trying to turn a franchise around. Great. Awesome. Uh, I, I was following you guys since in the Kentucky days mm -hmm. uh, when you guys went all the way to the finals with, uh, to the semifinals with zero losses, mm -hmm. and it was a fantastic moment at that time. Um, my, my question is, how do you guys get together so close, and, and what did coach, how did coach work you guys to be so good? Um, before I signed to Kentucky, Coach Cal talked a lot about sacrificing and and um, and sacrificing so everybody can eat. You know, he said it's not just gonna be one one player. You know, that's gonna do it here. You know, we, we had, a, what, eight NBA guys on one team in college, so it's something that's never seen before. And yeah. Coach Cal implemented the platoon style, with five people coming in, five people coming out. So at first, we were real frustrated. We were like, how am I supposed to get a rhythm? Yeah. Um, but we listened to Coach. We all sacrificed. Um, you know, I was just a catch-and-shoot three-pointer. Carl Towns just posted up. So there's so much more to our game that we sacrificed for the team, and it ended up working out for us. Wow, great, awesome. Um, so back in Phoenix, um, the game where you hit 70 over points against the Celtics. Mm -hmm. tell, tell me about it. What does it feel? I mean, well, you were scoring so many points. Did, did you think that that night that you're going to score that much? Uh, I was just locked in. You know, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a number in mind. You know, I've never limited myself to saying, you know, I'm going to score 40, 50 or 60 points. So, you know, I was just going with the flow of the game um, and my team kept you know, playing through me, setting good yeah. screens, passing the ball very well. Coach had up uh, a lot of, a lot of well drawn up plays for me, um, and I was just in that zone. We, we, we were watching it live over in Kuala Lumpur. We were like, "What? Never book <laughs> again? Shoot! Oh, not a one, what? All the way!" <laughs> so when you guys hit the 61 point mark, then they said, "Okay, I thought we we're gonna stop, but no, you kept going and going and going." So it was fantastic, awesome. So um, off the court, what do you guys like to? What do you like to do off the court? I play a lot of video games. Really? You know, that's my thing. I, I've been gaming for 
15 years now. Really? So yeah, I, I do it a lot. Uh, my, my mom doesn't like it. I just sit, I just sit <laughs> in my office all day and play video games. Uh, play the Call of Duties, the 2Ks. Oh, uh, the new game, it's called PUBG. PUBG. Yeah, PUBG, yeah. Not Fortnite. Not Fortnite Everyone plays right? Fortnite, I play PUBG. PUBG, yeah, yeah. I can't do the animated game, but, you know, I, I love gaming. You know, it's a way for me to be competitive yeah. um, and, and not involve basketball. So I get to be off my feet and do something competitive. So that's why I love gaming so well, much. I, I guess all ball is the same as well. So I'm a gamer as well, oh, right? Yeah. But I'm much older than you. I'm in the 40s, but I still do gaming at right. home. But, you know, my kids... Love me playing games. Uh, kids is around. I'll bring them play games as well. Nice, nice. So, what kind of food do you like? Do you like spicy food? I like all types of food, honestly. Really? You know, I, I'm not the picky one. You know, I have a brother and a sister that are both really picky. So my mom, you know, she's limited on what she could make us. But you know, she used to always make different dishes for me because she knows I'll try anything. Uh, and now I have a chef, so my chef comes to me with a bunch of ideas and. I try a bunch of different things and you know I, I most likely enjoy a lot of them. Great, great. So we're, we're from Kuala Lumpur, right? It's a, it's a country from uh, called Malaysia and we, we are known for the food, mm -hmm. right? So when are you guys going to come over and come and enjoy the food? When I come over, I'm hitting you up. I'm the first person I'm calling. I need a meal from you. Oh, definitely. Can you cook? I can cook. Your wife can cook? She can cook, definitely. <laughs> Hey, I'm there then. Make me a meal. I'll be there. Great, great. Awesome. Any last words for the young players in ballers in Malaysia? I'd say just stay with it. You know, if you have a dream, reach for it. You, you got to put the work in, but, you know, it definitely pays off. So, you know, dreams do come true. That's it. Dreams do come true. I'm here in Phoenix with Devin Booker. Yes, sir. Dreams come true. I'm, yeah. I'm so, I'm so happy, yeah. man. That was, that was so <laughs> fun, man. Yeah, that was fun. And, mate, you're a natural. The, you, I mean, I could see you were shaking a little bit because, like, he was right there and he's one of your idols. So that, how was that for you, man? Well, I just can't tell you how I feel because at that moment, you just gotta forget about how you feel. You just gotta ask him questions because that's the only chance that you're gonna get, that I'm gonna get to ask him questions because I know that if I don't ask him questions, I won't get to ask him questions after that. So I just forget my emotions, my feelings, but I know I'm like shaking my hands, I'm like moving so much, you know, but I just gotta ask him questions. We're actually meant to be going on a tour today um, of the Verve Canyon, and when we told him that he wasn't gonna go on it, he was a bit disappointed, but we wanted to make it a bit of a surprise, so we didn't tell him this was gonna happen. And all morning he was a bit like, oh man, it would be, would be nice to go on the train. Yeah. Is this better? <laughs> I got, I will, actually, I really wanted to go to see the canyon. OK, yeah. well, well, it's not over yet, yeah. so I'm not going to spoil any more surprises, but take a seat, cool down, and uh, may, maybe we might see some other people drop by? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I didn't prepare any questions, so I just try to come up with other questions, but then again, I just let it go, let it flow. This guy is huge. He's seven foot one. Um, I was actually standing next to him and I, I didn't even reach his shoulder, okay? And, but he was a nice guy, so we, we immediately hit it off well, uh, asked him some questions about his MBA experiences. Today I was supposed to go to the Verde Canyon, but, but then again, you know, I wouldn't want to miss the chance to meet up with you and talk about basketball. Nice. So how long have you been playing basketball? I mean, at what age you started at basketball? Uh, I started at nine years old. Nineteen years old was like when I started playing organized basketball. Yeah. Wow, cool. So, um, what is it like when you went to college and, and, and playing in, in the university and and all that? Well, I, I came out of high school, so I didn't go to college. Oh, awesome! Uh, <laughs> because I'm I'm the coach for uh, our local university. Okay. Right. So, and last year we were the champs. So this year we're gonna try to repeat. Nice. Right. So that's why I want to give my boys a shout out. You okay. know, if you can give a shout out to my boys, it's Absolutely. like, you know, what's it like? How do how do you prepare mentally in the games and yeah. in things like that? I mean, I think I think uh, the biggest thing is, um, you know, I've always told myself you got to fall in love with the process and not yeah. the results. So you got to fall in love with with the day to day things that's going to take you to where you want to go. Great. Um, you know. What you, what you put into the game is what you're going to get out of the game. You cannot cheat the game in any kind of way. That's right. That's all uh, right. So um, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. So yeah. you show up to the weight room, you got to you gotta imagine in your head who, who's your opponent. Right. So, you know, every, every single summer that I train, every time I prepare for a game, mm. I've, I always have somebody in my, you know, in my mind that I'm going against. You know, when I was younger, 
I would have, you know, Kevin Garnett, Rasheed Wallace, Tim Duncan. Uh, you know, I would think about those guys when I was training. Right. Um, because, you know, those are the guys I was going to be guarding and competing against. Right. And I knew there couldn't be any slack. Oh, definitely. So this is what we tell our boys as well. You got to, you know, trust the process. You got to work it out. Attendance is very important. Yes. Right. You got to get to go do your practice, do your drills and all that. Yes. So, I mean, looking at the team in Phoenix, you are pretty much like the veteran, the senior. Yeah. Right. So how what kind of advice do you give, uh, you know, the, the rookies when they come in? You yeah. know, what kind of advice do you give them? It's exactly that, that same advice. Um, you know, for a professional level, it's different than a university. Yeah. Um, you know, so, you know, when they come in, I always tell them, the, the faster you understand that this is your profession, the better that you're going to be. Yeah. Um, you know, it's no different than the way you should prepare for your job. You right. know, you don't just go and do your job mm -hmm. and then end there. You know, you prepare before yeah. and then you do extra after. Okay. Uh, you know, and if you continue that process, uh, you'll, have a, you'll have a long career. Oh, great, great, great advice to the, the rookies. Uh, probably that's what I'm going to tell them when the, the freshies are coming in and, uh, towards the go. end of the year, All right? Um, so you've been playing? I mean, I, mean uh, I haven't seen you in the games lately, so yeah. you've obviously been injured. So, uh, but have you been working out, um, yeah. you know, keeping yourself in shape? You yeah, know, 100%. You know? it, uh, no matter what, you know, it never stops, you know. Um, you know, no matter if, uh, you know, when you're, when you're not playing, when you're injured, mm. you need to be doing something. As long as you can do something, yeah. you need to be doing it. So, Great. Um, you know, I train, weight lift, you know, try to keep myself conditioned in different ways, um, you know, and just making sure that you go into the following season healthy, um, yeah. you know, get yourself a head start. Cool, cool. So w when you're not playing ball, what do you do in your free time? Uh, I got three little ones, yeah. um, so you know, uh, a lot of times I'm spending spending time with the, uh, you know my kids as much as I can, um, and then my own personal hobbies. Um, I love photography and oh, art. Oh really? Yeah. Wow, so, nice. So I love just kind of searching through the internet and finding new artists, finding new photographers, and and just looking at different work. Oh, cool, cool. I think I think you will enjoy KL Kuala Lumpur uh, is because we got really old, fantastic cities, a mm -hmm. mixture of modern cities and also the old side of the cities as well. Uh, if you bring your camera there, you're gonna enjoy the time. You're gonna have a great fun there. There's, oh, there's so it. many things for you to take a photo. I mean, I'm not a photographer, but uh, I used to follow a couple of guys, photographers. Uh -huh. So they will bring me to some of the places, take some nice shots and all these things, and then you know we'll go go back and look at it. It's yeah, it's, really it's, nice. it's always amazing to see different parts of the world, you know. Yeah, um, exactly. Because it's, uh, and it, you know, even a lot of times you can um, take for granted what's even outside of your own door. Yes. Um, you know, because there's beauty everywhere, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's even more so, like you say, when your eyes see something different. When you exactly. It's the same as uh, when I was at Grand Canyon just mm -hmm. two days ago. Yeah. Where, when I was just sitting there and looking outside, I was just telling my, my, my friends here, Grand Canyon is so amazing. It doesn't look real. It yeah. looks like a painting. Yeah. And then you just sit down and just look at it and you just grab your sandwich and you just eat it. And I'm like, man, this is amazing. You can't believe that you're there exactly. in that moment, right? You, you just yeah, don't absolutely. believe it. It's like, wow. And then when you look at the pictures, it's like, nah, th the picture doesn't do, doesn't justice. do justice. You yeah. got to go see with your eyes. Yeah, I right? agree. I agree. And it, I think anytime you experience something like that, it changes you as a person. Yes. Um, you know, throughout all of my travel, I feel like it has always changed me and opened my eyes to something different. I've never been somewhere or, you know, traveled to any destination and didn't take a little piece of the culture back with me. Yeah. I think that's very important, you know, because, uh, you know, it shapes us as individuals and also, you know, right now with the technology and things that we're capable of doing, yeah. you know, the world is small, yes. you know, um, and it gives us the opportunity to kind of, you know, take a little, you know, piece of culture from around the world and it gives a better understanding for us to understand each other. All right, cool, cool, great. So a um, couple of few more questions. Uh, do you believe in round or flat earth? Huh? Do you believe what? in round or flat earth? Oh, round or flat earth? <laughs> 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 round. <laughs> awesome, Only awesome. you call up Kyrie and <laughs> say yeah, well, it was a big thing about back in KL as well. So all okay. the players were talking about where is it around or flat. Earth. Maybe I should say flat. Because <laughs> if, if I say flat, I might get some, this might get a little more run. <laughs> get some more uh, hits. <laughs> great, great. Um, thank, thank you for your time. I uh, appreciate it a lot. Uh, I mean, it's my dream come true. You no, know, first to come to the U.S. 
to come for the fir- watch the first game yesterday. Oh, nice. uh, my dream actually to meet up with big men like you because I've been telling my guys, I want to meet Tyson Chandler, I want to meet Devin Booker and all these games. But you have been around the league so long, you know, and, and we look into you. So Tyson Chandler, where's he going? Oh, he's going there. He's going to Phoenix. Oh, he's going to get a good future there. Thank so you. thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I thank appreciate you. it. It's great having you here. We put the good in the good in the good life. The good life. The good in the good life. Wow. How cool is that life? So Coach Wayne, that's my coach. Coach Jay, Jay Triano. Hi, Blowing. <laughs>